It's the emergence of vectors, blah, 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 blah. All right, uh, but whatever. Um, Stimulus equivalence. We're establishing equivalence between multiple stimuli, often known as stimulus-stimulus relations, and um, that sort of stuff. So, are we going to? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, we're going to demonstrate things like reflexivity. We're going to demonstrate things like symmetry or transitivity. Uh, if you can do all of those three things, then we have the full-blown stimulus equivalence. But what we're talking about here is really getting a particular stimulus. Um, to evoke the same responses as another stimulus. Right? Uh, but the second stimulus has to be an untrained one, so on and so forth. We're just going to make two things mean the same thing to an organism in terms of the responses that they evoke. Right? Notice I did not say elicit because we're talking about operant conditioning, not respondent. So stimulus equivalence, operant conditioning, see more videos.